Hi my friends, it's Aurel, welcome back. Today we have something a little bit different. I got a ton of stuff from Shein. So if you're interested in what I got, how it fits, how it looks, the quality, the size, all of that stuff from one of my favorite websites to shop, please keep watching. Let's start with the basics. I have a huge dress haul and then a couple of comfortable things for working from home. I was just in a dress mood when I went shopping for this. Who doesn't love a flowy, comfortable, light dress in the summer? So that was my vibe when I was shopping for this. I also have 15 bathing suits in the other room that if you guys like this, I could do a bathing suit haul for you as well because the bathing suits are a lot better quality than I expected and they're like $15 for the top and the bottom of a tube piece. So this dress I thought was adorable when I saw it on the website. It's just this cute little dress with this frilly bottom. What I didn't realize was that there were pom-poms around the bottom when I first ordered it. So although it's kind of cute, I think this one is going back because it wasn't the vibe I was going for. But if that's what you're going for, then this is adorable. It doesn't have any stretch to it, but it's pretty true to size. So just keep that in mind. If you have some curves or you gain some quarantine weight like your girl, you might want to size up on this one. This skirt is way out of my comfort zone, but I thought it was absolutely adorable. There's a side zip very cute it's kind of a high low with this slit right here the only issue is it's kind of big on me and if I size down the slit will probably be too short so the concept is adorable it kind of reminds me of like a night out for salsa dancing or something like that but it has to go back this was my favorite in the haul. The problem was I read the reviews. They said to size down or it would be too big. So I did size down. I ordered the small and it does not fit around my chest. So adorable dress. I don't even know if I'm gonna order it in my size because it is on the shorter side. It's beautiful. The print is beautiful. The color is beautiful, but it's a little bit short for me for my age and it's really low cut, but I might, I might. I'm not sure, we'll see. I ordered this t-shirt and shorts set and the back has this little knot detail. It's just a shirt and a pair of shorts. When you tuck it in, it almost looks like it's a one piece romper, which is cool because sometimes a romper like this is a pain in the butt if you're in public and you have to go to the bathroom and you feel like you're naked in the stall, I don't know. So these are really good options for if you like that romper look, but you hate the onesie part of it. Same with this two piece. This is a short sleeve t-shirt. It fits kind of boxy cropped, which I love. And just a light pair of they're not joggers and they're not leggings. They're kind of somewhere in between. They're a little bit fancier. My sister had this outfit on and that's what made me do this whole haul was because she wore it to my house and I was like, is that a jumpsuit? She said, no, it's two pieces, but it looked fancy, but still comfortable. And I said, I needed it. So that's what started this order. I also ordered this shorts romper play suit. It is so comfortable. It is not see-through, thank God. It's really flattering. The only thing I'll warn you about is this tie right here is not really a tie. It doesn't tighten or loosen this. It just is sewn on, which I don't mind because it fits well. So just keep that in mind because this needs to be flousy enough for this to be covered so it doesn't look weird. So you might wanna size up a little bit if you hold weight in your midsection because this needs to flouse over it a little bit, if that makes sense. We have this beautiful dress with this little heart detail, how sweet. And I love that it ties. The sleeves are this little tie. It kind of reminds me of like that little girl vibe. It has a nice deep V right here, but not too much where you feel like the girls are hanging out because it has this overlay, very pretty. It's long enough where it hits kind of right above the knee, but not too long where it's frumpy. It's a very flattering fit. It does have a zipper in the back, but it is so roomy and so flowy. You would be so comfortable in this. Breezy, light, I absolutely love this. It's adorable, it has this little kind of ruffle detail on the bottom, so pretty. I wanna get this in a different color too. Then we have this dress, which is beautiful. It's a higher neck, 
it's got that tear layer look. Now, one of my sisters, when I sent her a picture of this, said that she thought that the bottom looked a little frumpy and cheap. It's really, really oversized and big, which I don't mind. You could belt it if you want to kind of, um, if you want to cinch it at your waist, but I liked it big and flowy. I just think that that's a, such a fun, light, airy look in the summer, and I have no problem with it. But if you like your clothes a little bit more fitted, you could either belt this or you could size down. There was so much room in this and I got a medium. I'm typically between a small and a medium in Shein. Typically a medium, but it just depends on how things are cut. This dress was one of my top favorites. It's got sleeves. It's got ruffled here on the bottom. It's kind of fitted and flowy at the same time. My sister said that she saw the same dress on Revolve for $400. This was less than 20, maybe 16. So this was a score. One of my favorites. It's just so dainty. It's so fun. There's the pattern for you. I loved this dress. It hits a little short, but not too, too short where it's inappropriate. This would look so pretty with a pair of cork heels or tan wedges or something like that. So cute. Okay, this is the last dress I got in this order. It's maxi, but I'm 5'3", and usually maxi dresses hang way too long on me, and I have to knot up the bottom, or I have to try to hem them, and I'm not taking a dress like that to the tailor because I'm not paying $15 for a dress and then $50 for a hem. So this one is perfect. It literally hits me right at my ankle that I can wear it with flats and it's fine. Just keep that in mind. If you're taller than me, it might hit you at a T length. And if you're not into that, then you might not like this dress, but it is so fun. It's so flirty. It's so girly. These sleeves go off the shoulder. It has a slip, a built-in slip to about here and then this part is sheer it has layers on the bottom I sent a picture to my sister and I was like is this beautiful or do I look like a milkmaid and she thought it was beautiful so that's how I decide if I'm gonna keep clothes last two clothing items I think I've been dying for a racer front shirt ever since I saw Kim K wearing one so I got this one it's more of a racer back this style just is really flattering on me because my shoulders are toned. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit see-through, but nothing you can't get away with in the summer, especially because under these you can wear sports bras and be fine for, I think it was $5. I love it, I might get it in different colors. And what I like about this one is it's not too cropped. Some of these come too cropped and I'm not comfortable wearing that at my age unless I wear something really high-waisted with it. So this one hits perfectly. That I can wear it with like a regular pair of shorts or denim shorts or jeans or a skirt, whatever vibe I'm feeling that day. And then I just got a pair of little shorts for lounging around the house. What size did I get? I got these in a medium. They fit fine, but they fit kind of tight. So if you want a looser look, you might want to size up, but this is just for show. This tie does not go all the way through the short. So if you go too big and they fall down, you don't have that to hold that up, but they're fine. They're not for going out. Although they are a really nice ribbed, almost silky feel material. So if you are the type that wears shorts and dresses them up, like I used to do back in the day and I loved it, then these will work for that. But for me, they're just for lounging around the house. So it's fine that they're really short and kind of tight. I love them. This next thing is a bathing suit, but I don't plan to wear it as a bathing suit. I plan to wear it as a bodysuit. Wouldn't that be gorgeous with high-waisted jeans or white high-waisted wide leg jeans? Oh all day long. I ordered a medium which fits, but I'm larger chested, so I don't love the way that the cups are. I might have to exchange this for a large, but this is beautiful with these gold straps. It has a full backside, so if you are into it and you wanna wear it as a bathing suit, which I might, I don't know, just depends on how hot it is, because that would burn. They're chain material, so that could burn you if you're sitting out in the sun all day long. The print on here is also gorgeous. It's kind of got this, safari thing going on with the animals on there and the flowers and the colors. I'm obsessed with this. And it's got underwire in there so you don't even have to wear a bra. It's just that the cups just aren't big enough. Now also I'm very bloated right now. It's that time of the month. So I'm gonna try it on in a couple days to see if it fits me any better or I'll exchange it. I think right now Shein is giving 75 days for free exchanges, free returns. So that is incredible. I got this all with free shipping. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Shein does not know that I exist. I just love their clothing and I order from them very frequently. I totally forgot I got this as well because it was $4 and basically I ordered it 
to make videos because sometimes I do that. It's this really unique, pretty, one shoulder sweetheart top, and this is sheer. Normally I'm not into the one shoulder thing, but I just thought that was so unique, so different, so pretty. It feels so much more expensive, so high end. I might actually wear that. I don't know, that would also look pretty with a pair of white wide leg jeans or a pretty skirt of some sort. That's a keeper, it fits well too. Last thing in this haul is I did get a pair of shoes. I love that square toe trend. I just love it. And when I tried them on, I was so pleasantly surprised because I felt like they thinned my legs out. The only problem is they're about a half a size too big. And when I showed my sisters, they didn't care for the knots on there. They, th they thought that they looked cheap, but I loved the colors. I love the heels, not too, too high. And something about this style of a shoe will thin your legs out for girls like me that have thicker legs, especially thicker lower legs, these are the way to go. So I will get something else in their place because square toe heels right now are just so blogger, so on trend and so fun. That's it for this video, but I do have a whole bunch of bathing suits in the other room. So if you're interested in a bathing suit haul from Shein, I was so pleasantly shocked when I tried on these bikinis. Just let me know in the comments and we'll do that. I just don't wanna make this video too long and I also don't want to put out content that you guys don't wanna see. So let me know and we will do that. If you're interested in watching my other bougie on a budget video where I just had fun. I believe that was for the fall and it was for visit. So just click that video there. If you're interested in other videos with me, click that video there. And if you're not already subscribed, hey, don't you like my style? I like your style. So let's be friends. <laughs> click on that circle there or the red button below and do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. It just helps me out a lot in YouTube. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.